All right, so we have number eight here. We got a curve here. And then we need to first of all express this into this look. This is called completing square. So we're going to have those further information for the bed. We go through that in the completing square video because this is not our curriculum. This is extended. With standard, we do not need that. But since we got a question here, we're going to go through those. So we have y equals to negative x squared plus 2x minus 3. So we're going to take the negative. I only focus on this two term. So what I'm going to do is like x squared minus 2x minus 3. All right, now we then go to think of something look like a squared plus minus 2ab plus b squared so that we can have it equals to a plus a minus b all squared. To do that, we're going to do something being horrible and add something and minus something. So we have 2ab, b should be 1 to balance the negative 2, 1 out, and then we have the b squared. However, b squared comes from the middle of nowhere, so we need to minus it to balance it. All right, so this one balance the 2, and this 2 balance it out. So, ah, don't forget the minus 3 is always here. So now we have negative, this bit become a perfect square. And then we minus that bit, it's still here. Outside is the negative 3. So expand the negative, so we have x minus 1 all square plus 1 minus 3. Now at the end we got that here. Lovely. Now we think of the transformation from this to this, but then this changes. So we have y equals to negative x minus 1 square plus 2. So we have changed the x to minus 1, and we have moving it upwards. So we have translate 1 unit to the left, to the right, minus is right. And then outside, 2 units downwards. All right, and last but not least, we're going to sketch that on the graph. So that will be one unit to the right and two unit downwards. So it's like here, beware of the scale. So we have it here, looks like that. As long as it looks cool. All right, now this is reflected along the x-axis and at so we now reflect along the x-axis and then translate three unit downwards. So what we're going to do is like reflect along x-axis. So x all the x become negative x. Yeah. So what we're going to do is no reflect along x-axis is all the y become the y. So we give a negative outside there. And then three unit downwards. So what we're going to do is y equals to Reflect that along and then three units downwards, so minus three again. So now we can go into throw that out. So expand it. So we have x squared minus two x plus three. And then the minus three is still there. Simplify that two as well. We got x squared minus two x and this is the answer. And finally we finish our Revision on transformation.